Another classic arcade game. Well, we keep a lot of the old flyers for games to sell. Sometimes we need them. There's one for Targ. My God, look at them. I got a whole bunch of Targs. So we got tons of them, but today's treat, and I do mean treat, is I know it's up here. Converted game. Here we are. I have a treat to show you today. It's a Sega. The Converter game. Sega Gremlins new smash idea. That's right. You take one of their original games, Space Fury, and you convert it. They say here it's a new and revolutionary system that allows a converted game that has reached the marginal income level to convert it to a new model. And that means this is the G80 system that you can convert your Space Fury or Eliminator or any other game to their next new Smash. Alright, in that case, oh, can you turn your record player off, Bob? <laughs> you, you see, I can see that in the editing room, Marlon. Actually, you don't, because you never see that stuff till after the video is up and we point it out. You never see the video. <laughs> is that true, Tony? Do I see all the things you do? All the nasty little comments? <laughs> come in, come in, come in. Let's get this video shot, because we want to get this game sold. Yes, we are selling this game at a special price because we cannot warranty it. That is the, G, the uh, G80 system, which I always thought these were nightmares. See, I'm telling you right up front. Nightmare system. Nightmare. I'll explain why, but let's go over the good points on Sega's patented Converta game. Trademark. The kit came in a box. In the box, you got a brand new control panel. You got the new cardboard. You got this, okay? You got the manual. And lastly, you got any specialized chips, EPROMs, or circuit boards. In the case of this game, I believe that you got a new sound card. And then you got EPROMs to go on the board. I don't remember. I actually bought this kit brand new. The kit was a great deal. The kit was, I think, $8.99 or $9.99. Might have been last, I did. Back in my 82. But when I bought the kit, it was to convert. This was either an Eliminator or it was a uh, Space Fury. Now you might say, oh, well, the Space Fury and Eliminator, the monitor's this way. But you see, that's not the case here. Let me show you why. The kit was a terrific idea because the guy could do it in location. So you swing this open, I already unplugged the plug. You unplug the single control panel plug, okay? You push these two clips in. You took off the old control panel, unless if it was Eliminator or whatever, and you set that aside. See, I didn't set it on top of that game. Frank thought I was going to put it on top of that. Then, this piece of wood slides out, like so. But I didn't put that there. You take this out, okay, your standard clear plexi, and inside, that's th that, that fan you're hearing is rattling the, um, that's the monitor bracket, okay. And look, isn't this nice? The cardboard just slides in the frame, so it's all nice and neat. They gave you a new piece of cardboard. Take out the old gear. Now, look, the monitor can be mounted both ways. Just by taking the four screws out. There's three here. He didn't hear it. What did he say? What did he say? Yeah, it's like you. It goes both ways. Listen, girl. Thank you. Oh, my God. The humor. I notice I use that term lately. Put your hands in here. Pull it out. Move it. Now, Sega also had this terrific blackout. Flexi. I wish I could buy this. It's curved and sticks directly to the monitor to give you that gorgeous black look. It's beautiful. I would wish they still made that. That would be a great thing for somebody to manufacture so you don't have to have the blackout plexi. Then, of course, you've got different cards. 
Now you'd be able to slide the cards out and change whichever ones you want. I actually have some over here uh, to show you. Now, here, now everybody says, why don't you like the system? Well, you know they say every machine has a weak link in it. Watch, watch. Weak link. That's that kid. Right Speaking there. of weak links, there's a weak link right there. Well, this game has three weak links. The crappy power supply, the crappy board system, and the crappy monitor. <laughs> Unbelievable. Three weak links. The only thing that's good in this is the transformer. <laughs> Now, I, my love for G80s is very ill-gotten because I vended these things. We could not keep these working. We could not keep these things working. Because remember, they're sitting there cooking all day. Maybe in a private home where they're not on day and night, we'll have, we'll have better experiences with it. But uh, in the case of this, no. Never a good thing. Anyway, put this back in. We've converted our game successfully. And the system. We've already changed our boards over. Oh, Frank, actually go into the back and we'll show them the boards that are on the ground. So they can kind of see what we have there. These are other board systems. Uh, you know what, actually, I think that's an Astro Blaster. This is another. Probably a Star Wars, or it could be a, a Star Trek, or an Eliminator board kit. This uses all six. You see the cards slide out, and you put the board back in. This is the, this is a sound board, and the sounds on, on tax skin are much more elaborate. Now, if you are going to overhaul these, this power supply runs on four voltages. The board system is four voltages. Plus 5, minus 5, plus 12, minus 12. And it has the amplifier in it. There, see? Noise is gone. Vibration. All that rack gone. That is annoying though, isn't it, Frank? Boy. Not as annoying as your voice. Not as annoying as your voice. Anyway, we had problems here with the uh, connectors getting really burned out here. So these usually had to be replaced if you were vending it over the years. Now what we did is we took this out and we reflowed solder on all these lugs. We took this cage out and we reflowed solder on the power connector and all the pins on the back. So we pretty much bulletproofed that. This is the Geo, what is this, the Geo 8 is it, Frank? Electra Home's horrible, most awful monitor ever made. And it includes, though, the good news is the OOPS board is here. This is the board that they came up with to keep the monitor from blowing up so often. And this was shipped out when Eliminator came out, and then Space Fury. Space Fury was the first game with a voice that was actually a tonal inflected voice. So, a creature for my amusement. Something like that. Anyway, everybody loved the game, but about a week after we put it in location, the monitor would blow out. So this board was developed by Electrohome and Sega and this would protect the monitor from getting back feed, I guess, from their logic board that would protect it. So these the series of capacitors and transistors here protected the monitor so it didn't blow out as often. But see that? There's a fan cooling these transistors. Now, if this monitor could be turned sideways, like horizontal, what we used to do in the morning when we went into the arcade, we'd turn on the space for the eliminator, and then on the back we'd put a, a little skillet, and then we cook an omelet on top of it. God, that gets red hot. You burn your finger. That's hotter than a soldering iron almost. Boy, does that get hot. Whew! The design. Once again, we always tell, tell people, I'd like to get my hands on the person. Do you know, see, Frank, I'm still str struggling with this. See, it's been that long since I did that uh, kit. But, you know, their monitor book here, or the, the manual you get with it, tells you details on how to do it, how to make the conversion. It also shows you what your scoring is and uh, how the, the basic gameplay. Not much. Well, actually, two full pages.
telling you how the thing works, and then you can make your difficulty harder, just like all the other games, of course. I also mentioned a cocktail version, but I just can never see this in a cocktail format. Star Trek was also released as a kit. Now, this kit was different, because with this kit, you could actually convert any game. Asteroids to Star Trek, Space Fury to Star Trek, but Scramble to Star Trek, Tempest to Star Trek, because the kit actually came with the monitor, the logic board, the wiring, everything to convert your game. Yes, I did. I did convert it maybe two or three games over. We never made our money back on the kits. The kit was $12.99 when it first came out. And the last kits, I remember buying new in the box kits, brand new in the box kits, including the brand new monitor, down to $400, the last ones. No, I don't have any more. Yes, I wish I did. Because now, a brand new kit in the box we probably collect a pretty hefty sum of money because these monitors working hard to get. Now, this also featured this ridiculous, insane coin door system. The stupidest system I've, I've played just plain C. Look, use other slot. <laughs> Let me tell you, I gotta tell you the history of this. This game was in somebody's house. We sold it to them, I think for $300, $400. Back in 88, I think, 87 or 88, they've had it all these years. We just got it back. And it actually literally came out of another place, uh, probably from a store and into their basement. So it's a little cruddy. We'll clean this up before it goes out. But he wanted it on coin slots, so we left that one in, and it drops into a bucket at the bottom. Really awful system. God. However, I'm done with the awful stuff. What I'm now going to show you is why this game is so collectible. There are ships, it's waiting. And oh, you know what? I didn't plug in the con no, gotta plug in the control panel, Frank. Game isn't gonna start without that. One quick plug. The same spinner is used on Star Trek also. We start off with vertical play. Now, Sega did their usual marvelous work with sound. That deep throat bass, you can hear it coming through. Now, you notice I have still have six ships. Well, these suckers are trying to bomb my poor ships. You see that little ship? Notice, when I lose a ship, it, it drops off the grid. Do you see the green flashing one? I can add a ship. Watch. See that green? By pushing my button, I can add a ship and I can collect more ships. There we go. So in other words, there's a, there's a way for you to connect. Now look, I have three empty places. The next ship I add will be at the flashing green. Look at this. Isn't this terrific? See, I, what I didn't add, I had still had four ships. You can have a shitload of ships. Shitload of ships. Isn't that a great way to put your high score initials in? You can have a shitload of ships, but if you don't push the button in time, you lose it. Now we're going to check out how to the high score. <laughs> You know, I love getting them flustered. This reminds me of the Pink Floyd song. You little shit, you're in it now. I hope they throw away the key. Yeah, shut up, it's to me first. more often than you did. I have to work it. I haven't done any lip syncing for a while, Frank. Haven't I? Okay. Fortunately for us, because you suck at it. Oh, Frank, your lock, your stupid lock. How am I going to show the people the Four rest? Four weak links. Oh my God, who put this lock on here? But here, there we go. You know, we decided you have to see this game, so you can see the picture without me reflecting on the screen. <laughs> ah, God, you can still see me. <laughs> okay. Good, we have a credit on it. I always like the sound on this. 
You have to see how beautiful this is. There we go. Now, your formation stays at the bottom, but it does change as you lose ships and add them. This is the hardest for formation to, to save because you have to really zoom out of the way to avoid the guys from dropping on you. I got him right away. Did you see that? And creep tried to dash him on the side. Alright, there's my two ships. I got him. Good, we got both. Again. Boy, he's... Now, if you were watching, that ship is a lot like the guy in the um, Eliminator. What an extraordinary job Sega did. The program is terrific. The software. As usual with Sega. Sega, Sega just made so many great games. I don't even have to add ships. I, oh, I just lost another one. Now, do you see the green flashing ship here? If I push my add ship button, watch. Okay, I add it. Uh-oh, this guy's picking me off. Oh boy, Frank. That was not good. All right, let's try to pick up. Good, we got them both. Okay, we have two spare ships now. This part, the first uh, tunnel, is easy to keep in the green area. If you dip out of it, you see the red line that appears on the side. But as you get into higher waves, it's much harder to do. But now, that first, first rack was simple. A child could do it. A child could do it. You see how you can zoom right off the side to avoid them? Uh-oh. Oh, Frank, I had one spare ship. Drat, I still had one spare ship, too. See, you, you always wait say, should I use it, should I, should I? Anyway. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a great graphic set there? And Frank, I've got the new high score. Too high. Look, see, and look at that beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful graphics. Vector stuff, guys, is just terrific. It's just great stuff. We've also finished up. Boy, is it dark in here. <laughs> we had to turn all the lights out. I even took out the plexiglass in the front because I really wanted you to see the extraordinary graphics. Because, gosh, when are we going to see another one of these games again? We got the back put back on. We bonded that corner, so this is safe and secure now. We had to get in the back there and, and uh, clean up all that stuff that was monkeying around. A beautiful game. It's waiting for someone to restore it. The good news is a lot of the electronic work is done. You won't have to do anything. Right, we've got to turn some lights on here. Gosh, Stephen went out for a smoke. He, he's left his baby Pac-Man. There we go. We're putting a new overlay on that. That should look good. Anyway, anyway you now know and have experienced the graphics and beauty of pac -Scan. And All you have to do is get your money together and buy it. Quick sale, we want to dump this. Somebody's got to want this baby. Steven, you have room in your house? No. <laughs> I, guess, I guess when you work around the games, you don't really want one. Uh, Steven, do you realize it's just you, me, and Frank left here? How do you expect me to work in the dark? Do you hear this? This is not dark. Dark is when you're out in the desert in the middle of the night and there's no moon. That's dark. Your brain's dark. It's not happy with me. Frank, doesn't that camera have a light? Mm -mm. <sighs> Pay our energy bills. Pay our energy bills. Anyway, folks, we are done for tonight. No more videos tonight, but tomorrow, look, rock and roller games. That's right. We're finishing it, we're doing the final touches. The nicest one we've ever had. I keep telling you that, but we, then we get another one in. We've done a couple other things with well, this. I just so. keep getting better at my job. Do you hear this? Can't be that good, you don't get a phone in a van. 
Kurt! Wait a minute. Where is Kurt today? Here he is. Uh, actually, he wasn't in bed. He was babysitting. Gets five bucks an hour pay. There, is it? Thirty-five dollars an hour less than you give him. Should I sing the rest of the wall song? You little shit, you're in it now. I hope they throw away the key. You should have talked to me more often than you do now. You had to go your own way. Have you broken any homes up lately? Just five minutes, worm, your honor. Here, be alone.